on May 19, 2022, as part of equipment upkeep. The passenger car bearings were cleaned out and inspected and repacked. This was done by Rudy Childs, who had 25 years as a car knocker and Sharon Barber at Phillips. We shot this video because this style of bearings is only found on very old railroad cars. There is only one other YouTube video that shows the cleaning out and repacking of this style of bearings. This was found after just a cursory title search. Hi, my name is Rudy Childs. I'm here at the uh, Sandy River Railroad, and today we're going to um, be using this tool. It was uh, from my grandfather. Uh, he worked on the railroad for 42 years. Um, myself, I worked for 41 years, but I came out here to volunteer because some of these bearings need to be packed. And this is the tool they used back in the old days to pack the bearings. So um, we're going uh, get to uh, get to some work here today. So here we are sticking the uh, tool in there, it reaches to the back of the box. You take with it some of the wick and you shove it in and pack it into place and then you're able to turn it around the bearing like such with the handle. I think it's seven inches deep is what I was getting originally. I get nine here. Nine? Okay. Uh, and then the width of the box is about five. Five. All right. So five inch lengths of that. If we keep folding it over. Right, right. And I think that it almost probably has like uh, like these these if you measure that, there's a, probably the same length. You know what I mean? It's almost like a uh, measuring stick. A mark. Now starting to pull out the old wicks in the journals. When these were previously repacked is unknown. I see. What do you think? Came out a lot easier. Moving the journal that was pinching the old wick Ooh. in the journal box. Is that supposed to be able to do that? Yeah, we're pretty clean on this one. Okay. Now, what about, uh, did you put your hands in there in the box to yeah. see if you got chips? See this bad. Checking for metal chips or filings in the oil from the various parts in the journal box. The oil on all the cars was clean. We had two boxes of different material used as wicks for stuffing the journals. What you see here was the first box used, which was wool. The journals took six foot long sections, measured out and cut for each. Using the packing tool to get the six foot sections of wick in the journal. The white wick was the second box donated to the railroad and it was cotton. The cotton absorbed far more oil than the wool. At first an oil unit seen later was used to fill the journals. The amount of oil we were going through we switched to a pump and a five gallon bucket to fill and refill each journal multiple times as the material absorbed it. The following four still photos are a four minute time lapse. Notice the barren face to see how fast the wick absorbed the oil after the journal was filled to the top. <laughs> 